Previously, we got banished. We've defeated all the lords. We made them all turn back to normal. And then something bad happened. So the commander banished us. And then, yeah, he thought it was our fault. So now it's up to us to prove our innocence. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Viridity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called... Mesprit? Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that, ha or that's how the tale, old tale goes anyway. Your arc phone is beeping. Ooh. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Don. Mistress Kokita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This chance was never for the faint of heart. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, it's a Gudra? A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, Don. Prove to the Pokemon to the lake of how strong you are. Mm. I know it's like a poison dragon type. I don't I don't think I have the right match for this. Shelter. I love that song. Oh, damn. Burn it. Please burn it. Oh, God. Well... Uh... At least you did... You did something, Rapidash. Hydro Brum should be not as effective. Oh, my God! I did so much damage. Well, that sucked. Aura Sphere. Well, you're dead. Can I can I catch it? I'm curious. Can I catch it? I can catch it. it might be hard though. I got basically like three tries to this. It's not good. Like, I could kill you anytime I want, but I want to catch you. <laughs> Just stay in the damn ball. Come on, Gudra. Yeah. Okay, it popped out. Yeah. This is my last, my last great ball, my last chance. Nope, I lost. GG's. I wonder if I just wasted my Pokemon. Try again with a stronger team of Pokemon. I mean, I don't need a stronger team. I just need I just wanted to catch it. Are my Pokemon healed? Oh my god, they're automatically healed. I feel like I probably should have rested there. Oh wells. I really hope you you can't catch this. I don't. I if I if I'm just wasting my my pokeballs, please let me know, and I'll just gladly kill it. Oh yay! There we go. Caught the Gudra. Perfect. That's the way, Don. I can tell by watching that you and the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Yeah, that I would like fucking mercilessly, mercilessly, uh, 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 mercilessly uh, sacrifice them just to catch a Pokemon. 
I would you gladly sacrifice their lives, their, their bodies to catch one Pokemon. Yep. Now let's see. Now let's see about that Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna battle too? Your emotions. Share them with me. They're yours. I'm being hypnotized right now. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies a aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting? What did you feel when you mingled with Hasui's clan? We're all so different? What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? No, I didn't feel better. Uh, life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You obtain Mesprit's plum. Plume. Was this really a trial though? I just fought a Pokemon. That's it. Is that really a trial? I, like, you know, when I was expecting a trial, I was expecting like, you know, some sort of like that, um, that like mini, mini puzzle that you get for when you're trying to catch that flying Pokemon. Not the, when you're trying to get the, the, the flying uh, Pokemon companion. Like I was expecting that kind of trial, but we're just inside a cave. A very small cave, fought a Pokemon, and that's that's the trial. That's pretty weak. I can't even imagine what I what that must feel like having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mystery, I guess. <clears throat> I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now, we're two lakes left to visit. Looks like that worked out well, Don. Gotta admit, you sure know how. You sure know plenty about Hasui, Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we're all like... I think we all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinon in the first place. I've even got some questions about its true nature. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to... Yeah, uh, uh, sure. Perfect, I have to see what she thinks of our progress. Ah, Mesprit's pl uh, is it plum? No, it's not plum, right? It's plume, right? I think it's plume. So the legend told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds, and they'll give us this this thing, and they'll let us bind the world and solve all this mess. But how? Why? Your doubts suggest a keen intel uh, intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mine, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the red chain purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get it even less now. Such are myth, my child. Teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinon and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such satisfying things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we get the red chain. 
how nonchalant you sound. How confident of success to which you contribute nothing. <laughs> you tag along only for a chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Here we are, Lake Acuity, you know. I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Uxie. Uh, when Uxie took flight, the knowledge to solve po problems was born in people's minds. That's what the story says, anyway. It's the same thing as before, right? Well, now I know that I can catch Gudra. Probably, I can probably catch this Pokemon as well. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Dawn. I imagine there'd be a Pokemon in there protecting the Lake's Guardian. Take care. Now let's see what's waiting for us. What is that? A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Oh, wow! I know you don't need me to tell you this, Don, but I still gotta say it. Be careful around that thing. Oh, wow! More like Kawaii Desu. And Machoke's dead. Oh no, he's buffing up. Choke's dead. Yep. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I didn't strong style that. Hey, good job. You lived. Oh, I spoke too soon. Well, I want to catch it because I don't have this Pokemon. So, you know what that means, guys. Sorry, uh, all of my Pokemon, but you're all gonna get wiped out unless it- Oh, no, I caught it! Nice! <laughs> First try. <laughs> you caught a Zoro. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Sorry, Machoke. You need to experience the most. Yeah, you can do it, Dawn. You feel mysterious presence. Cune. We're gonna answer some more meaningless questions again. Come. I will test your knowledge. Humby. Zubat. Unknown. Magneton. Dustclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Kombi is three, right? But it has two eyes each, so that's six. Zuba has none. Unknown has one. Magneton is three, but each have one. So that's three. And Dusclops has one. So six, zero, one, three, one. Six, zero, one, three, one. Kion. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Cool. Just one more to go. I wonder what happens if you get it wrong. I assume all went well, Don. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. But having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. We could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, yeah, let's go. Let's 
have some more cutscenes. Wonderful. So that Uxi Claw, I sense a warmth to it. The Pokemon on the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed. Yeah, we may not want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are intense. What makes you say so? It seems the Pokemon has been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Komodo has raised the force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if... If a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what will become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Dawn. There's no time to lose. We got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go for it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. And contribute nothing. Watch. Is that all you really do? Remember, once you sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. You know about the Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcano eruption, much like Lake Virility. Though there are other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's heart. Or that is what legends would have us believe. Oh, a cave appeared where there's no there was none, as if it's just for Dawn. It's the third time I'm surprised you're still surprised. In in we go, Dawn. I imagine a strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Let's see what we're up against. Oh wow, they gave Quillfish an evolved form or another form? A menacing Pokemon awaits before you. Watch it, Dawn. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. So it's a poison water type, right? Fish me! Ow. Yeah, Gink, thank you for hurting yourself, you piece of shit. Ooh, thank you for not dying. No, you're gonna die! Don't kill it! Damn it! That's my dawn. You feel a mysterious presence. Kyun Kyun. Show to me, unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at Azelf. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Oh, wait, no. Will you abandon this folly? Uh, I'm not through yet. I totally hit you. What the fuck?
It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not through yet. I could do this all day. Give up. You're, you struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? Yes. I feel like I would have given up if he's like started saying the same thing over and over and over again. But he's saying something different every each time. So it's totally fine. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. What is with this weird outline on Dawn and everyone inside this cave? You obtain a Zil's Fang. Looks like our lake journey is complete. It seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. Yeah, I've been here before. This is where I failed to catch Ralts. And like the evolved form of it. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I have the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make the, this red chain? I would hardly know. You speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? And what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Ah, the Pokemon of the Lakes. It's the red chain. Literally. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations have been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Don. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know what he do well, he doesn't yet know what that our- Blah! He doesn't yet know that our Don has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right. We gotta let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan of his. Huh? Wait, Don, it's you. I can't let I just let you pass right by me. Thank goodness you're still alive. I, I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear Don. Professor, I know you've been worried about Don, but there's no need to cry. I I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. <laughs> and besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? Y you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Don. Anyways, where where's Captain Sy- uh, Where's Captain? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She was buried under a mount of work. I'm afraid we're, we're to join her in the Survey Corps office. 
It seems her hands are more than full now that com ca Commander Commodore's gone. The commander's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift because business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the game for the security corps folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain. You didn't do shit. I owe it to Adamant. He didn't do shit. What do you mean? I don't like these options. Thanks to you, I guess. I have no idea what you're implying. Exactly. Exactly. All I know is Avra vanished of its own. Oh, never mind. I guess. Okay, she did help out technically. She let us borrow Abra. But like only to like fucking exchange our Pokemon. That's it. But eh, in a way that's helpful. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord. Inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you managed to learn something of use? Uh, I got this red chain. No idea what to do with it. Go on. You explain about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Komodo is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The secu security corps has had been scouting the air near the space-time rift and they reported sightings of something on the other side. Something that resembles a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threats. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Don's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as followed. I don't need to take orders from you. Don, take that red chain of Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated as at your former rank. Okay, I guess I have to do what you have to say. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. There you are, Don. Irida's already headed to the Mount Coronet. How are things looking there, here? The commander's already at Mount Coronet. He's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his led on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, alright then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Don. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting, you see you there? Hmm. Who is the reckless one? Hey, you got... Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you... Still try to find a way to help us all. That's right. Don worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right. And a fine job she did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks. Here, take this. Max for five? Why? What was a... Sassy small lost sassy child would a uh doing what a max revive. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp and from there the temple of Sinon. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potion for me to celebrate. See, this makes more sense. It looks like the big mount moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Don, I wish you great fortunes and battles to come. 
I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customer. It seems Commodore intends to use the summit camp as a base of operation for this undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the Great Melee will be here, for moral support at least. Oh my god, it's the potato mochi man? Oh ho, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to stutter the shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster Commodore has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Are you serious? He's always hated me. I'll make myself plain. As Commodore's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the greedy, greedy deeds. Commodore can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word. I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plan. And besides, it's not just Commodore who longs to live in a new home fear of fear or strife. His dream is now is mine now too. You've seen my smoke bomb before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Whoa. Whoa, Kakashi, is that you? When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja technique that have been left to molder all these long years. Wow. Not expecting that. Not expecting my, my potato mochi server to, to come and fight me right now. Well, that sucked. No! Ball this. It's gonna live though. It has calm mind protection. It's gonna live this. But just do as much damage as you possibly can. Nice. A delayed. You better not do a move. Ooh, yeah. He's burned, so his attack is reduced to half, right? Keep flare blitzing it. I'm sure if he had six Pokemon Kakashi, he probably would have beaten me. It seems my ninja technique will soon be co cons con co-signed to history? Consigned to history? I'm so mad that my other Pokemon doesn't get experience. Uh, very good, young one. Very good indeed. It is only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. 
might actually like you after a fashion, at least for the skills you show in battle. But listen well, Don. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. Was it amok? Uh, we, we lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came to Asui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If hypothetically, as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. <laughs> 